We're gonna update the memory on this HP laptop. This is a brand new laptop for 2018, 2019. It's the HP model 14 DF0013CL. But it's probably very similar to other laptops by HP where the back appears not to have a removable battery and where it's just a basic laptop. These probably come in the 14 inch size and the 15 inch size and perhaps even a 17 inch size. So I've ordered the replacement memory and currently inside this laptop there's four gigabytes of memory installed. I bought the eight bit gigabyte, car, gigabyte card. There's only space for one card and the maximum allowed memory is an eight gigabyte and that's due to the processor and apparently the chipset. So if we look at the back here, we're gonna need first to remove a couple of screws here and here. So we'll go ahead and do that first. And I'm just using a simple, um, small precision screwdriver set. I'm setting the screw, screws up on the desk in the same basic position as I'm taking them off out of the laptop, so. This one's giving me just a little bit more trouble. There it goes. Now, the back is not gonna come off yet because there's these strips of rubber. And so we need to remove these strips of rubber, rubber and I'm gonna grab a tiny little screwdriver. I'm gonna see if I can just pry up this little strip of rubber and very carefully pull it up. And apparently it has a little tape on it. So I'm gonna put that face up on the desk and hope that it doesn't get too much dust on it while I'm finishing this removal of the screws. So here's the third screw. Put that in the middle. I'm gonna rearrange these just a tad so I know exactly where they came from. Now I'm gonna pull the Rubber strip up from right here. Being careful to not break anything. I'm gonna tear it up kind of slowly. And you'll notice there's, that one is slightly different because it has an additional hole here. So I'm gonna to have to make sure to line that up when I take it out. Okay, one, two, and these screw holes, they say M2.56. So I imagine that has something to do with the size of the screws or the length of the screws. And if you have a magnetic screwdriver, that apparently helps. Okay, so now the back should come off, right? But not yet. We need to very surf carefully separate the back of the laptop from the, the black portion. So let's see how we're gonna do that. Um, there are tools to do this, but I think what I'm gonna do is use a very thin guitar pick and try to just work my way around and let's see if we can we can do this. This might be the trickiest part. Because we have to get the, the pick underneath the plastic. Okay, there we go. So I was able to get it in over here, but the guitar pick is kind of flimsy. Might need a thicker piece of plastic. Oh, I heard something snap there. Yeah, something there. Uh, it looks like I've lost a bit of the guitar pick already. So the front is kind of up a little bit. Come back around. 
All right, got that. Let's see if we can just open it up a little bit here. Just trying to gently separate it. Looks like on the back here a little bit. making sure there's not like a missing hidden screw. I don't think so. I think I just have to give it a little more gentle pressure. Now the back of this is only plastic. So there's that. And there we go. Okay. So there's the back. And here's the inside and there's our memory card just there. So I'm gonna turn this around. You can see the memory card. And to take that memory card out, we just slide this one over, slide this one over, and it pops right out. Okay, so I'm just gonna look around to see if there's space for another memory card. I don't see space for another memory card, but I do see a large space here, which makes me think that it's probably possible to add a drive or something there. Um, maybe uh, one of those solid state drives. So here's the new memory. Take this out, Let's put it right there. New memory. And this happens to be crucial memory. Doesn't have any fancy piece of plastic on it or anything. And I think I might have needed to push this in first. Yeah, because it's a little bit bent there. Come on. That was a bad idea. The nice thing about seeing other people do this is you can be like, oh, be careful with that, right? So let's see if we can get that lined up because I think there's, yeah, see that wasn't supposed to go past. It does it kind of straight, straight. Come on. Perhaps I need to like get under there like this. I think I almost got it. It's a very flexible little piece of metal here. So this is supposed to be like the easiest part, but obviously I was not careful enough when I popped that out. For a second, try to pry that into place. Just gotta be really careful not to damage the motherboard. And if I left this portion on the video, feel free to skip ahead. Uh, that's the nice thing about online videos is you can skip ahead easily. Oh, no, I feel like I've almost got it. There, okay, got it. Had to bend it a little bit. All right, so again, and probably not a great idea to press touch the contacts, probably a good idea to ground yourself before you put the new memory module in. Okay, so there's a new memory module. And I believe it's snapped in. This side does not look, feel like it's fully snapped in, but that might be because I was bending it and distorting it quite so much. But I'm gonna just double check. Where is the springiness provided by? I think just because it's meant to be bent straight I might have to like give it a little overextension. Yeah. So there you go. Be very careful when you do that part. Okay. All right. So this is, I find this very interesting, but there's this large space here and that must be a spot for a drive of some type. 
And let's just take a look back here. So there's our rechargeable battery. It is removable because we got uh, four or five screws, maybe at least five screws. And you can see that it says Hedwig 14 NAR GLK DDR. It's kind of interesting to look on the inside of the computer a little bit. On this end, this is where the SD card goes, and there's a small USB port there. And on the other end, we have our two USB ports and our HDMI and our Ethernet port, network port. Okay, so now I'm going to try to put the backpack on. It looks like it's in good shape. All the clips and snaps look good. So we're going to put this back on, just very gently snap it into place. Nice even pressure. Okay, good. And now we need to put the screws back in the same place that they came out. I have to say that this laptop is much easier to get open than my previous laptop, which had more like 25 or 30 screws to get to the heat sink. The, the fan had to be replaced in that one. Okay, for this little plastic strip, again, it's got adhesive on it, so you don't want to get dust on that. Make sure to put it back down. I'm going to try to put it back down the way I pulled it off without getting my fingers on the adhesive. Making sure this goes into the little hole. Yep. Get that one in the little hole. Might be the trickiest one at the end there. Okay. And then just one screw here. And this is actually a thinner piece. Trying to keep it lined up straight and not put my fingers on the adhesive side. Of course, ultimately, you shouldn't need to open this laptop more than a couple times, unless you're adding a drive or something. I'm going to hold this one down a little bit because it, it popped up just a tad. Okay, and then my last two screws. And I'm going to use the slightly smaller. Actually, this one will work. I have a small set of screwdrivers. And my fingers crossed that I won't see the computer be quite so laggy when I have many tabs open in the web browser. Right now, after having, I don't know, 10 tabs open, it'll really get a bit laggy, but I think this will really help. And you can notice now that the laptop has the eight gigabytes installed. Most of it is usable. The reason for the 8 gig limit is because it's using this low powered Pentium Silver N5000 processor, which uses low power and for some reason it only can address up to 8 gigabytes, maybe the chipset. But we've got everything installed, it's logged back in, and we're ready to go. So that's how to do it. That's how to install new memory into your HP laptop the new versions where there's really not much on the back. If you like this video, please do like, subscribe, and comment. Thanks for watching.